Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Our God is good. He's an awesome God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. He's the God that says yes, nobody can see no. Amen. He's also in all his way. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for praise and worship. Thank God for all that you have done today. Thank you for your awesome presence this hour that day. We bless your holy name, we magnify your name, Daddy, because you are low, our God. There is no one like you, our Father, neither there will be anyone like you will lift you high. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I thank God for my pastor, Pastor Jerry, for the privilege, and my man for the privilege he has given to me to be in this pulpit. It's not by my, not by my power. I always say that I'm not qualified to be here, but God qualified me. You see the color of God in my life. I just want to thank God for all that God has done, for God is using it to do in my life, using it to do in our lives. Praise the Master Jesus. You have given us a good foundation of Christianity. I appreciate that, Pastor and Mama. I thank you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Our God is good. He is a faithful God. He is a mighty God. He is God that never lies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I hear my heart, I hear my soul, I hear my mind as a vessel right down to you, God Almighty. I ask you right down to take absolute control right down that deep. It's done by my, it's done by my power. It's not me, oh God, but it's you that walk in me. I ask you this hour to take control, oh Lord God Almighty, to control over my tongues, take control over my heart, take control over my ear, take control. Take control over my thinking, over my imagination right now, oh God. I don't want to speak the word you have not ought me to speak. I ask you to anoint my tongue right now to speak according to your will, according to your purpose, oh God. Give me the own trust to manifest your word right now, spirit of a living God. It's you, God Almighty, I am represent right now, and I ask you to take us under control. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all that we have done today. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, when Pastor, Pastor Betty was with this tree last week, Sunday, you know, excuse me, I was just thinking to myself, he has, she has cleared, cleared the road, you know. I said, oh, thank you, Lord, she has cleared the road, you know. You know, the word that she was speaking, and I thank God that we have received our breakthrough. Amen. I thank God that God has done it. Amen. I thank God that as He has spoken, so as He has spoken, so shall it be. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you know, she was saying that one thing that struck me there. She was saying that instruction, you know, receiving the instruction of the Lord, you know, He said that when the children of Israel were marching, you know, when God told them to march around the Jericho, you know, God told them, "Do not speak, be silent," and they obeyed God. Say, do not speak, be silent, and they obey God. You know, God said that all things I tell you to speak, then you will speak, and they obey God. Praise the Master Jesus. You know, and when they obey God, what happened? They see the salvation of God. Praise the Master Jesus. When they, they obey the instruction of God, they see the salvation of God. Pastor have declared it this month of praise and peace. Praise the Master Jesus. He said, this month of praise and peace. And I pray and declare we shall obey the instruction Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We shall obey that instruction Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we obey, we shall see the salvation of God. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Hallelujah. You know, I want to take my scripture from Psalm 44, verse 1 to 8. If you are there, please, you can read and there. So that it will be time. Psalm 44. Psalm 44, verse 1 to 8. Yeah. He said, We have heard with our ears, mm. O God. Mm. Our Father has told us mm. what work thou did in their days, mm. in the time of old. Mm. How thou did drive out the healings mm. with thy hand, mm. and planted them. How thou did afflict the people, and mm. cast them out. Mm. For 
they got not the land in possession by their own sword, mm. neither did their own arm save them, mm. but the right hand and the arm, the right hand and the arm, and the light of thy countenance, Amen. because thou had a favor unto mm. them. Amen. For the last that said, Thou art my king, mm. O God, commanded deliverance for thee. Amen. Stop there. Praise the Master Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Master Jesus. Praise the Master Jesus. It's the children of Israel were saying, God, they were saying, God, we are heard what you have did. We heard what you did. We heard, our ear and heard, oh Lord, what you did to their forefather. How you delivered them from their enemy. I planned them in the land that you proposed for them. Praise the Master Jesus. He said, you are the God who planned them. You are the one that gives them victory. Yes. He said it was not their arms that saved them. It was, it was not their deed that saved them. Praise the Lord. It was not their sword that saved them, but the mighty hand of God that delivered them. Amen. That bring them victory. Yes. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. It was the mighty hand of God that bring them victory. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Master Jesus. You know, the children of Israel, they were not there. The children of Israel were not there. They were declaring to God what their forefather, what he what God did to their forefather. Praise the Lord. He said, Our ear and head, what you did. Yes. Even though they were not there, but they believe. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They believe what the Father did. They believe that it's able to do all things. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. They believe that God is able to give victory to them. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. They know that his God is, is, is the God today, the God tomorrow, the God forevermore. That he never lie. What he say he will do, that is he will do. Hallelujah. His word that he speaks, everybody, everybody turn back to his voice. He must show you our complaint that we shall propose, that we shall set to. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is also. What were the children of God doing? They were declaring the word of God. They were returning back to the word of God, what he had done. They were remembering him, what he had done to their forefather. They declared the word, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They confessed the word. The same time they were praising God. Mm. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what we are doing this month. Of praise and peace. We are declaring the word of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are declaring the word of God. We are confessing the word, the word of God. The same time we are praising God. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But it's God that does all things. Yes. He's not a man who should lie. He's God and Himself. He said, This month is a month of peace. It's a month of praise and peace. And so shall it be for us. As we praise God, we shall receive. The salvation of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know we don't have to see before we believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't have to see at all before we believe. The children of Israel did not see what, the, what God did to their forefather, but they believe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But they believe. Praise the Lord. This month of praise, this month of praise and belief, we don't have to see. Why are we praising? Praise the Lord. Why are we praising this month? Because God has given us a victory. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we have to believe it. We have to believe that God has given us a victory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So we have to believe before we have to believe before we see. Amen. By doing that, mm. it takes faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By doing that, it takes faith. It's not just ordinary eyes. It's not just by your feelings. It's not, it's not just by your thoughts. It's not just by your mind. But it takes faith. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It takes faith to know that, yes, God has done it. Mm -hmm. That God has done it. That I will believe before I see. Mm -hmm. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Like when we say that, how will I praise God? When I'm going through difficulty, how will I praise God? What things are not going well with me? 
Praise the master Jesus. How do I praise God? When I don't know my right, I don't know my left. I don't even know what I'm going to. I don't know where I'm going to. Sorrow over, over my heart. How will I praise God? But I have come to tell you today, God said praise him. Mm -hmm. Praise the master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the word of the Lord. Right. It's not my word. God said praise him. Amen. When you praise him, you shall see his salvation. Amen. Praise the master Jesus. Hallelujah. He said praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him, you shall see his salvation. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17, 18, and 19. How about God is good? God is good. If you can read, please. If you are there, please, you can read. Mandele bro shataya la bahanto lo breketa basataba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Makura baso turiya la baroshi kada bahane. Habakkuk. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, mm. neither shall fruit be in the vine. Mm. The labor of the holy shall fail. Hallelujah. And the field shall yield holy. Amen. The flock shall be cut off. Amen. Mm. And there shall be no help. Mm. Mm. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say yet. I will rejoice in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 19, please. The Lord God is my strength. Hallelujah. And he will make my feet like him. Mm. Like his feet. Mm. And he will make me to walk upon my high place. Amen. To the chief singer on my strength, strength instruments. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 No matter the difficulty, praise the Lord. No matter the circumstances, the Lord say praise him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Say praise him in the midst of sorrow. Praise him in the midst of trouble. Praise him in every area of your life. It's very 19. When you praise him, this is what happened. Praise the Lord. Amen. He will make your feet like a bare feet. Praise the Lord. He will strengthen you. He will instruct you. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you praise God in the midst of problem, how about God is awesome. Praise the master Jesus. When you are praising God, he makes you, he makes your difficulty become low. Praise the Lord. He gives you the strength to pass through the difficulty. Praise the master Jesus. No matter how the circumstances, the Lord say praise him. When you praise him, you shall see the salvation of the Lord. As we praise him this year, we shall see the salvation of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. For he will make as strength our hand, as strength our bow, to run not to be weary, to walk not to be faint. In the mighty name of Jesus. He is a good God. He is worthy of our praise. He has said it and must surely bring it to pass. Because it's not by our mind, it's not by our power. He's God by Himself. He's God by Himself. Praise the Master Jesus. When you rejoice in the law in the midst of trouble, it produces victory. It produces strength to your soul. He makes you walk in a high faith. Praise the Lord. You know when you are praising God, you don't even know whether anybody is there anymore. When you are praising God, it's the same thing when you are laughing. When you are laughing, you forget what you are, what you, what pain, you know, what situation you are going through in that moment. But when you are praising God, you forget your sorrow. You forget all the difficulties you are going through. Praise the Lord. Nothing that matter at that time but God. When you praise God, when you praise God and rejoice in Him, praise the Master Jesus. He will strengthen you. He will make you walk in a higher faith. He will enable you to obtain a good testimony in every area of your life. Of your life, praise the Lord. When you praise God, He enables you, enable you, praise the Lord, to obtain a good testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. Our God is good. He enables you to obtain a good testimony. Praise the Lord. Faith in God, you have peace. Do you have faith in God? Praising Him with your faith. Praising Him, knowing that 
Yes. As I praise God, all that you ask for, it shall be added unto you. All that you ask for, it shall come to pass. He gives you a peace of mind. Praise that Master Jesus. He helps you to understand that God can do all things. Praise the Lord. When you praise God, He produces faith in your mind. He produces faith in your, in your soul. He gives you a, 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 a sound doctrine, a sound mind. And it helps you to understand that God is able to do all things. I see it abundantly. Above all we ask for, according to his glorious power that worketh in us. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is excellent God. The Bible said in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. It said, now faith is the subject of things hoped for. For an evidence of things not seen. Verse 2 said, For by it the elders obtain a good testimony. Yes. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. For by it elders obtain a good testimony. So when there is faith in God, when you are praising God, you have that faith. He enables you to obtain a good testimony. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is good. As we praise God this month by faith, we shall obtain our good testimony Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We shall obtain our good testimony in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So if we turn our Bible to uh, 1 Samuel, verse 1 to 28. 1 Samuel 1 to 28. That's our... Yes. He said, Therefore also I have met him mm. to the Lord mm. as, as long as he liveth. First, he, first time, 1 to 28. One, mm, chapter 1. Chapter 1, verse 28. No. First time, chapter 1 to. Verse 1. Yeah. First time, chapter 1, verse 1. Okay. See, now there was a certain man of Ramu, mm. Ramatamofi, Ramatazuma. <laughs> Praise the Master Jesus. Okay, let me, like, because of that, let me just let me just cut it short. You know, let me read the. Uh, let me just say the story anyway, because we all know the story. Because Pastor was telling us the story uh, last two weeks. Praise the Master Jesus. It's about Hannah. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. When Hannah was looking for the fruit of womb, mm. you know, as she was looking for the fruit of womb, womb, the Bible said that God shot her womb. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God shot her womb, and the other, the, uh, uh, the other woman, he was laughing at her. Mm. Praise the Master Jesus. God, because she, didn't, she couldn't uh, have uh, any child. You know, Hannah was so sorrowful. She was bitter. Praise the Lord. The Bible said that in verse 7, in verse 7, it said, So it was year by year when she went up to the house of the Lord that she provoked her. Therefore, she wept and did not eat. That's what Anna was going through. She was going through pain. She was going through Pain that she cannot even understand. Why? Because she couldn't have any baby. And the other woman also was provoking her. Praise the Master Jesus. I go further. If you read the, that verse, that verse, um, verse, verse 16, verse 16. If you are there, you can read, please. Verse says, do not consider your mind, your, your maid servant, a weak woman. For out, for out of the abundance of my, of me, of my complex and grief, I have spoken unto now. Then Allah, Allah answered and said, go, go in peace. And the God of Israel grants you petition, which you have asked of him. 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Why am I saying here? It was the story of Hannah. In verse 11, they say, Anna, make a vow to God. Praise the Master Jesus. In verse 11, they say, Anna, make a vow to God. What was the vow to God? He said, God, when you give me this charge, I will give it back to you. Praise the Master Jesus. He said, God, when you give me this charge, I will give it back to you. But what struck me there is that the Bible said that in verse 7, Year to year, Anna did not have a baby. Year to year, she was going to going to the tabernacle of God. No baby. Nothing. Anna make a vow to God. Praise the Master Jesus. He said, God, if you give me the baby, I will give it back to you. At the same time, she prayed that prayer, but she was still laying down, weeping. When Elisha, when Elana came. When Ella think that she was drunk, she said, no, master, I am not drunk. I am a woman with sorrow. I am weeping because I don't have any child. Mm. The man said, go your way. Your petition has been granted. Praise the master Jesus. Mm. She now get up. The Bible said, at that moment, her countenance was full. She was not sad anymore. Mm. Praise the master Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, a man of God has a big room in every member. Praise the Lord in the church. Praise the Master Jesus. Anna, I believe that Anna's prayer was answered. In that verse 11, in that verse 11, when he vowed to God, God, God is a God that gives. Praise the Lord. God already know that. He already know the heart of Anna. That when I give this baby to Anna, Anna is going to give it back to me. Praise the Lord. God know the needs of, of God know the need that the people need at that moment. Praise the Lord. But God forbid it, fulfill the Hannah petition. Then the man of God came and sealed it up. Praise the Master Jesus. The man of God came and sealed it up. Not the Anna. Then often the man of God came and said, "Go your way." Anna was still in that day praying to God. But she didn't know that God had granted her petition. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. Our God is faithful. The man of God said, Go your way, your, and your answer has, your prayer has the answer. At that moment, Anna get up. Her countenance was full. She was no more sad. Praise the Lord. She was no more sad. She was no more sad. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray I declare by the authority in Christ Jesus. As your servant, O Lord, have declared, O God, this month of victory, this month of praise and peace, Lord. We shall go our way, we shall no more sad. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We shall go our way, we shall no more sad. All our petitions shall be granted. By the authority in Christ Jesus. Amen. The man of God came and sealed it up. Praise the Master Jesus. And God know the needs. The need in the church. Praise the Lord. God know that if I give this woman a charge, he will bring it back to me. God cannot give anything, cannot give back to you. When God gives, you have to give back. Praise the Master Jesus. God grants the request and fulfill the vow of honor. It's not just the one that will benefit Anna alone, but it's the one also that will benefit God. God, God cannot give anything that, will not, that is not beneficial. To you and to him. Praise that Master Jesus. That's what the Bible said. The give, it shall be given back to you. God give to benefit you. And God give to benefit others as well. As God give you. You also have to give order. 
Praise the Master Jesus. It's all to bring glory to the kingdom of God. It's all to benefit you or to benefit God. That's how God designed. Designed it. Praise the Master Jesus. That's what Hannah did. God said that, God, when you give me this child, I will give it back to you. And God give it to him. And God knew her heart that he must surely give it back to him. Praise the Master Jesus. How about God is good? If we read there, if we read Luke chapter 6, verse 28. Luke 6, 28. Bless them that bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you. Sorry, Luke Luke says 38. 38 yeah, says Give and it shall be given unto you. Mm. Good measure. Press them. Mm. And shake you together and run it over. Amen. Shall men give unto you your bosom. bosom. For with the same measure that you need, mm. with all it shall be measured you back again. Amen. Amen. Give, it shall be given back to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everything that we have, everything that we earn, is God that gives it to us. So we are all to give it back to God. In this month of praise, we have to give God his praise that you utter his holy name. Praise the Lord. He has promised us, as we praise him, we shall see the salvation. Amen. So as we praise him this month, the peace of God that passes to understanding will pass our heart, our soul. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The peace of God that passes to understanding, that we enable all to think, that we enable all to be risen, that we enable all to come our heart to see the direction of God. It shall pass all our understanding. Praise the Lord. It's not about receiving house. It's not about receiving cars. No. When this month is a month of praise and a peace, the peace of God calm your heart down. The peace of God calm your soul down. You are able to focus. You are able to know what to do. Because in the midst of sorrow, it's hard for you to even, to even pray. In the midst of weeping, it even hard for you to read the Bible. But when the peace of God is there, you are able to do all things. Even in the midst of trouble, even in the midst of tribulation, praise the Lord. I pray, I declare in this month of joy, in this month of praise and peace, the peace of God that passes understanding will run our heart, run in our soul. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In a, a Philippians chapter 4, Four to nine. Masko Rukra and Oshika Tanya Rukra. Philippians. Philippians four, four to nine. He said, Rejoice in the Lord. Always, again, I say, Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Always, he said, Not only one time, no, not sometimes, always. Even in the midst of sorrow, even in the, in the midst of uh, uh, anything you are going through, rejoice in the Lord because God knows that when you rejoice, the window will be open. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord. I say rejoice. Not just with our lips alone, but all with all your heart and with all your treasure. Give it thanks to God Almighty. Praise the Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is good. As we rejoice in the Lord, as we praise God this month, we shall see the salvation of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In verse 5 said, verse 5 said, it said, let your gentleness be known to all men that the Lord is near. Let your gentleness be known to all men that the Lord is near. When you are rejoicing in the Lord, you are calm. When you have the peace of God, you are calm. Praise the Lord. 
As you are called, the goodness of God will be seen in you. The Bible says, let your light so shine that men will, men will see you and glorify God. Yes. That's what the peace and the praise, praises of God bring into your heart. Bring into your soul. Praise the Lord. After you are rejoiced in the Lord, He said, let your gentleness, not the long way you rejoice, after you rejoice in the Lord, you go home and start sorrowful. No. And start behaving anyhow. No. When you rejoice in the Lord, you, with, with faith, you know that yes, you have done it. You can feel it within your heart. Yes. There's something going on in me that you don't understand. The peace, the joy, that's what is produced in verse 5. See, let your gentleness be made known to all men. Praise the Lord. Rejoicing in the Lord brings gentleness. Say, the Lord is at hand. He said, be kind to one another. Be gentle to one another. When you are rejoicing in the Lord, everywhere you go, you will be smiling. Everybody that sees you, you will see the smiles of God. You will see the glory, the presence of God in you. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. Verse 6 said, in that scripture, be anxious for nothing, but in every in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Praise the Lord. Be anxious for nothing. When you are praising God with happiness of God, He cannot break anxiousness. He cannot, he cannot make you to be anxious. Cannot make you to be, it, it, it will make you to be happy. Praise the Lord. He will make you to be happy. He will make you to, 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 to let go yourself down. Why? Because the glory of God, the happiness of God, the peace of God is in you. You will not be anxious for nothing anymore. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving. Thank you, God, for what He has done. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for what He has done. Mm. Now we begin to pray, Lord, do this, do this. No, God has done it. Mm. In this month of praise, as we are praising God, God has done it. Mm. I know that God has done it. Mm. So we are thanking God also. As we declare the word, praise the Lord. Mm. As we proclaim the word, the same time we are praising God, we are thanking God for all that He has done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Glory As we continue to praise God, we shall see the salvation of God. Amen. I keep saying it. And God is faithful to his word. God is faithful to his word. It's not a man who should lie. It's God by himself. I know victory. We have received our victory. Know that God, God, God will do it. God has done it. Amen. God has granted us as individual our heart desire. Amen. As we praise him, as we praise him this month, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As we are praising him, it's not for us to have a double-minded. It's not for us to doubt him. It's not for us to put our words inside. No. He said praise him. We have to praise him and obey the instruction of God. Because if we don't obey, we put our own word, it can be limited. It can be limited. God give us instruction. God give, like Pastor Peter was saying last week, God said, tell the children of Israel, march around the Jericho. They, they, they believe the instruction of God. They didn't add their own word. Even though we want to speak it, but God said, praise him. And the word of God has to supersede our word. The word of God has to supersede. We're not just, just obey God this time. Let's just, just praise him. Let's not just praise him. Praise him. I, I, I was in my dream. I was playing trumpet. I was in my dream. I was playing trumpet. Trumpet is a victory. He is a victory. And it was so beautiful and harmony with, with praise, with worship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We just have to obey the instruction of God. Even when we want to pray, we have to say, thank you, Lord. We know you have done it. 
Thank you, Lord. We know this thing has broken. Thank you, Lord. We know you are giving us our petition. Thank you, Lord, because what you say that, that you will do, you have done it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We have to stand faith by faith. To stand in that liberty. God has given us liberty. Not that he will give us liberty. No. He has given us that liberty. He has made us free from anxiety. He has made us free from depression. He has made us free from not knowing our left, not knowing our right. He has delivered us. Praise the Master Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Never again will they thank God again in the yoke of the bondage. Amen. Never again will we do with that. Amen. Never again will we say, oh Lord, will you do it? Yes. No. Right. No. God knows. He knows everything. We, we, we know that we know everything. But what we speak at our mind, that's what matters. Praise the Lord. Verse 7 said, in that uh, Philippians chapter 4, say, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guide your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Through Christ Jesus. Nothing else but Christ Jesus. Nothing else will depend upon but Jesus. Nothing else will guide our mind but Jesus. Nothing else will pray about Jesus. But it's the God that said that the peace of God will guard our heart, our soul. It's the same God that said that this month is a month of peace and praise. praise. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. The peace of God that passes all understanding, passes all tribulation. Passing all everything you don't even think it, that you think that you are, you are not able to overcome. That's what the peace of God does. When you have the peace of God, you are able to focus. Know where you are going. Kalabro shiyeli gamasu tu kata mahandaya. Masuke lebro in des koshi tayale mahi de gosu kutu bata. At this moment of praise and peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding shall pass our heart, Amen. shall pass our soul, Amen. shall pass our mind. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can see that. Praising God give the peace of God. When you praise God, it brings peace to your soul. It brings peace to your soul. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That peace that will surpass all understanding, anything, any tribulation, any circumstances, any issue you think that you are not able to do it, the peace of God will surpass them. Even though you are still going through in your head, but you know that deep in your heart, you are praying through. Amen. Praise the Master Jesus. Verse 8 said, finally, my brethren. Say, finally, my brethren. Whatever things are true. Whatever things are noble. Whatever things are just. Whatever things are pure. Whatever things are lovely. Whatever things are lovely. Whatever things are of good report. If there is any virtue and if there is anything... Praise, it's any, so it's any praise wordly. Meditate on these things. Meditate on these things. If you are, if you are worried, if you are, if you are going astray, are you able to meditate on this thing? It's not possible. It will be hard. That's why this month of praise and peace, as we praise God, the peace of God, that will enable us to meditate all these things, God said that he has given unto us. Because when you have the peace of God, you are able to focus, like I said before. He brings an idea. Your heart is settled. Your mind is settled. He gives you a new revelation. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. Thank you, 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. The peace of God help you to meditate on these things. When the peace of God is there, help you to meditate on this on this word that is in verse eight. Help you to meditate on these things. He lift up your spirit. And the more you meditate on these things, the more your spirit is lifted up. The more your faith is beating up more and more. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. The peace of God calm your spirit down. Verse 9 said, in that scripture, verse 9 said, he said, this thing which you have learned and received and heard and saw in me, those things, and the God of peace will be with you. Praise the Lord. The God of peace will be with you. Hallelujah. The God of peace will be with you. And I pray and declare, the God of peace will be with us. As individual, as a household, as a ministry, for those that are watching online, the God of peace will be with us. In the mighty, me, in the mighty name of Jesus. The God of peace will be with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. So what you have learned, what is it that you learn? Is the word of God that you have learned. Praise the Lord. What you have received, what you have saw, praise the Lord. Meditate on these things. And the peace of God will be with you. Will be with us as individual. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. If we turn our Bible to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15 and 16. Hebrews 13, 15 and 16 says, I read, Therefore, by him, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips. Give it thanks to him. Give it thanks to his name. 16 said, but to do, but to do not forget to do good and to share. For with such sacrifice, God is well pleased. And I pray and declare, at this month of praise and peace, as we see the salvation of God, we shall go out there and share it to who God wants us to share it to. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will not keep it to ourselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. May we see the goodness of God in us. May we see that wonderful thing that God has done in our life. May we see that yes, indeed, is a month of praise and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, do not forget to share. I will not forget to give praise to God. Praise the Master Jesus. We will not forget to give praise to God. I will not forget to call, we shall continue to give a, a, a offering of sacrifice to, to God or Almighty. Amen. Say, this is the fruit of, with the fruit of our lips. Give it thanks to God. Give it thanks to his name. Amen. Do not forget to do good. We will not forget to do good. As God will bless us, we will not forget to bring to the house of God. Amen. We will not forget to do good. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we shall say, share the testimony of our lips to others for what God has done. But sharing your testimony, it elevate people, it elevate whoever you are sharing it to. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. You know, Pastor was, she was declaring last two weeks, it's a month of praise, it's a month of peace. He was saying that we should give a tithe giving of seed. That month, it was the month, it was the month of victory. Praise the Lord. Give it a thanksgiving. A thanksgiving of praise. Instruction is very important. Praise the Master Jesus. Instruction is very important. God knows what is ahead of us. He wants us to thank Him first. He knows. He knows. He wants us to thank him for us. Thanking him for us is we have seen. We are not seen because we believe. Yes. Praise the Master Jesus.
Jesus. We are losing, but we believe that was the seed of that thanksgiving. That what God is going to do. If you are not doing your own, I, I urge you to do it. Praise the Master Jesus. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. You know? I go back to, to uh, Hannah. In verse 2. First Samuel chapter 2. Verse 1. And two. That was my last. That's my last scripture now. Be close. Praise the Master Jesus. Our God is good. All the time. Glory to God. In verse two, you know, after Hannah had made it vow to God, God had granted her, her desire. And that thing, that is it, so he bring it back to God. What did God do? God bless her more and more. God establish her. God enlarge her. So we see in verse 2. What did she do? She begins to give thanks to God. Give praise to God. Praise the Lord. He give thanks to God. He give praise to God. He knew that only one son that he had, he give it back to God. He give that sacrifice back to God. He knew that God is able to do it. More exceedingly above what did she think. She gave that only one son she had. Not knowing that, even we don't know that if God will give her another one or not. Praise that Master Jesus. So that's what we do. That's what we did last, last, last month. Giving thanks to God instead of thanksgiving. Not knowing that if God will do it or not, God will believe that God will do it. He's a faithful God. In verse 2 said, it said in verse 1 it said, and Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. My heart is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemy. So shall we smile at our enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Our heart shall rejoice in the Lord. Our heart shall be exalted in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. I just want to begin to pray right now. We lift our stand up with our feet, begin to thank God for that. Thank God for his word, for all that he has done today, for all that he has done, for the liberty, for the breakthrough, for the praise and peace that he has given to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the days of our lives. Let me begin to declare it right now, that verse 2, verse 1 to 2. He said, my thank I rejoice in you, O Lord. My heart is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemy because my heart rejoices in you. Because I rejoice in the salvation of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is no holy like unto the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, no any beside you, Lord. No is there any rock like our God. Because you are God, you are mighty. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. I thank you, O Lord, for fulfilling all our petitions. I thank you, O Lord, for all that you have done. I bless you, O Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you, O Lord, God Almighty. Forever we will praise you. Forever we will praise you. Forever we adore you. Forever we honor you. Forever we worship you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We give you praise again. We adore you, Abba Father. We say, be that glorified. Be that exalted. Thank you, O Lord. We worship you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' powerful name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I bless your holy name that day and magnify your name. Indeed, you alone are God. I thank you, O Lord, for what you have done today, O Lord. Father, I bless your name because in you all things are possible. Yes, Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Father Jehovah Loki. Not just to hear a Lord, but to be a dwarf of your word. We aim to be a dwarf of your word, O Lord. Heavenly Father. All that we have saw, all that we have heard, all that we have seen, all that your servant has declared, O God. Father, we ask you. Help us to be the dwell and the world. Help us to follow that instruction you are giving to us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' powerful name, I pray with thanksgiving. Praise the Master Jesus. Oh, God is good. Oh, God is good.